Hello friends, thank you so much for being here. Welcome or welcome back. Good to see you, hope you're having a good day. So today I am going to be going through a little stack of books in a haul that I got at the very end of 2022 in December at Barnes & Noble. They were having a 50% off all hardback books in the store sale. So of course I went <laughs> and I picked up um, a few books and all of them, there was maybe one that wasn't actually on my TBR, but that I had heard a lot about and was debating whether or not I should put it on my TBR and decided to pick it up. But other than that, all of the books that I picked up were on my TBR. So I'll go ahead and show you the books that I got and give you as much of a description as I can because I have not read any of them yet, so I'll just have to give you what little I can glean from the description and what I've heard about them. So let's get going. Oh, actually, so the first thing that I got that's actually in another room, not in my stack, is I got a physical copy of the Player's Handbook for Dungeons and Dragons. I am playing in a campaign with a bunch of friends, and I've just been using a free digital version that I found online, which works just fine, but I there's something about having physical books in my hand that I just you can't beat it so I decided hey it's not gonna get much cheaper than half off so um, I went ahead and picked up the player's handbook so the first thing that I picked up is the gathering dark which is an anthology of an anthology of folk horror so this is a collection of short stories by several different authors that are all kind of yeah spooky folky stories and I'm looking on the back and let's see so there's stories by Erica Waters, Chloe Gong, Tori Bovalino, Hannah Witten and I just read For the Wolf by Hannah Witten and I enjoyed that. Allison Saft, Olivia Chada, Courtney Gold, Aiden Polidoros, Alex Brown, and Shakira Toussaint. <laughs> Toussaint. Um, so those are all of the authors that have stories featured in this anthology. I really like the artwork and the cover. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I've read, I might have read one anthology in my life. M maybe two um only one recently um i'm they don't typically are they're not really a draw for me so but an anthology of folk horror stories that sounded interesting to me so um i'm excited to kind of you know read an anthology for once and then i have house of dragons by jessica Cluess, and i adore this cover this actually i lied so there are two books that weren't technically really on my tbr this is a cover buy. Um, I try to avoid doing cover buys nowadays because I have such a big TBR list that I try to only get books that I've actively thought about and be like, yes, I want to read that. But I saw, actually it was, it was the spine that I saw, which isn't like super extraordinary, but if you know me, I love dragons. And um, of course it caught my eye because I've watched House of the Dragon um, and really enjoyed that. So this cover is so gorgeous. I love the swords. Um, it's just super, so me. <laughs> and this is, let me see, five houses will hear the call to compete for the dragon throne. A liar, a soldier, a servant, a thief, and a murderer will answer it. Who will win? So I think the king, has died and these five people from different houses or different lands are coming to fight for the throne. Um, yeah, sounds great. And um, there are dragons. <laughs> and I mean, really, that's all you need to say. So I hope that this will be good. I have not heard this talked about by anyone. Um, but yeah, saw the cover, thought it was super gorgeous and can't wait to read more books about dragons. I got Alone Out Here by Riley Redgate. I believe this is a YA sci-fi. And from what I understand, this is kind of like a retelling of Lord of the Flies. Um, it's a spaceship full of like teenagers who are just on this spaceship when a disaster hits Earth and they have to survive out in space. And that's all I know about it. Um, I did read Lord of the Flies in school and I think it was f fine from what I remember. It was a long time ago, um, but I love sci-fi. Um, I read more fantasy than sci-fi, so I'm always up for sci-fi that catches my attention. And yeah, I think this sounds interesting. 
Then I have a really short one by T. King Fisher, What Moves the Dead, with a really creepy and cool cover. This is a retelling of The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe. I have not read Fall of the House of Usher, so this might hit me a little differently than other people who have read um, the original. It's very short, it's less than 200 pages. Um, I've been, well not really collecting, I have one other book by T. Kingfisher, which is Nettle and Bone, which is also short, um, but I've just been hearing so many good things about her work, and she's written in just kind of a bunch of different genres, so I really want to kind of get into her stuff, and I hope that I really enjoy it. But yeah, so this is like a, a horror, um, I believe, so yeah. And I guess what it's about is this woman answers the call of like her cousin or something and there is something really strange going on with the creatures and the the people in this place there's you can see these kind of like fungal growths on them so there's a little bit of i don't know if body horror is the right word but fungal stuff is involved on the creatures and the places in this book so yeah probably gonna be really creepy that stuff freaks me out freaky plants and fungal stuff that freaks me out so i'm excited to read this i have a taste of gold and iron by alexandra Rowland with a very very <laughs> steamy beautiful looking cover um this is a gay fantasy um, what more do I need to say? Um, the magic in this world involves like being able to, I think they describe it as touch taste metal with their fingertips. So I don't know exactly how that works, but somehow touching metal is involved in the magic. And it's about one of these people, he has a bodyguard. So I don't know, he's probably the bodyguard. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a bodyguard slow burn <clears throat> um, romance and that's really all I know about it but it's gay fantasy and I'm all about that so uh, yeah. And the last book that I got is Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nethercott with a really cool cover and this is all about um, the house on chicken legs which is Thistlefoot who belongs to the character called Baba Yaga who I've and I've heard I've heard the name before but I've also not really read any of that original story. I don't really know anything about it. I know she's like kind of, she's like a witch, I think. And you're following, I think maybe the descendants of Baba Yaga or something, and they inherit the house. The house like comes and finds them. I think it's a contemporary fantasy. I think it takes place in America. Um, but it is, I believe, Jewish folklore. Oh yeah, this quote on the inside. Um, like Neil Gaiman and Susanna Clark, Jenna Rose Nethercott understands the precise alchemy of darkness and whimsy that comprise all the best fairy tales. I love Neil Gaiman and I love Susanna Clark. Um, actually, you can see here my copy of Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I love it so much, read it years ago and adored it. Um, so I am very hopeful that I am going to enjoy this because I like both of those authors. So that was my quick little haul, my little hardback book haul. Um, it was kind of cool and very exciting to find things that were on my TBR already and then a couple things that I cheated that one that I had heard of at least and the other I hadn't but it was a cover by. I just, oh, the cover is so beautiful. I love those swords. Um, so yeah, we'll see when I get around to reading these. Um, I'm just so happy that now I have this library room. I still have several shelves that are basically empty, um, plenty of room to add more books. Um, not that I'm going out in a frenzy and buying a bunch of books to fill everything up, but I'm a little less worried now about space because I have plenty of places to put all my books and it makes me very happy. So uh, yeah, let me know if you've read any of these, if you've heard of any of these, if there's any in particular that you think I should read or anything like that about any of the books that I got. I'm always interested to see your guys' comments and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!